It's about to get on the way. The man to call it, Simon Holt. They'll get a big send off from the crowd by tradition here as they come out onto the track. A bit too quick. Uh, the starter won't have that. That was a mess. David Lira's jockey, Andrew McNamara, ducks under the tape. The idea is that uh, they start well back from the tape. They come in from well back from the tape, round the turn there, and they come forward in a much more orderly manner than that. Let's hope that doesn't set a trend for the week. The eye catchers in the ring, Tyson and Amaretto Rose, were positive. De Valera and Hyde the Evidence negatives on the exchanges. Wins now and Amaretto Rose positives, negative for De Valera. And they're about to try again. And the Cheltenham Roar sends them on their way for the Anglo Irish Bank Supreme Novices Hurdle. She's our Daisy, all bit of gold amongst the leaders early. The Grey Granite Jack is up there as well with Hyde the Evidence and Calderon on the far side. Wins now in a white cap not far behind them. De Valera in the red and white half sleeves is in about sixth place as Rindoon moves forward as they make the long run now to flight number two. She's our Daisy on the far side of Orbiter Gold. Rindoon is third, then Granite Jack close up in fourth place, followed by Hyde the Evidence and Calderon. And then just in behind these, De Valera wins now towards the inside. Further back in the field then is another great Ever Zion back on the fence as they jump flight number two and they all land safely. About to pass in front of the stands, there's going to be about 230,000 people here over the next four days, and She's Our Daisy leads the way to Orbiter Gold. Two and a half lengths to Rindoon in third from Granite Jack Four. De Valera is wide of Hyde the Evidence and Calderon. Hobbs Hill is about eighth together with Tyson, then wins now in Shanghai. Kicks for three further back, I'm So Lucky and Cedrus Libanai. The favourite Amaretto Rose is in the second half of the field. Look out for a red jacket. She's got about seven behind behind her at the moment, including Ebba Zion, Special Envoy, also Classic Roll De Soto, Tipperary All-Stars well held up out the back, together with LeBeouf and O'Danny Boy. Downhill to the next then, this is the third coming up, She's Our Daisy lifts off just in front of Orbiter Gold there, they land safely, Granite Jack on the far side in the yellow jacket, the Noland colours, last year's winner of course, Rindoon the near side, just Dirk moving up on the near side in dark green is Calderon alongside the those banded hide the evidence as she's our Daisy now loses places. Hobbs Hill picks up out wide of runners as they continue down the back straight with Shanghai. And then further back in the field is Wins now on the near side as they jump the next together with Tyson. Uh, then she's our Daisy still retreating. Ebba Zions the inside of DeSoto. Just ahead of those Amaretto Rose getting into the race now. Red Jacket making stealthy, stealthy headway into about eighth place and a very close up eighth at that under Mick Fitzgerald. Running uphill to the flight going up the hill and it was there that it was just uh, the grey granite jack that led granite jack from orbit of gold Rindoon is still close there to Valera, Amaretto Rose getting ever closer, hide the evidence but short of room there, hide the evidence Calderon going well round the inside as they reach the top of the hill it's granite jack that's going to lead them now down towards three out in this Anglo-Irish Bank Supreme Officers hurdle from orbit of gold, De Valera in the noseband, Calderon wins now on the right with the white face. Amaretto Rose, the red jacket, in about sixth place. They're chased by DeSoto. Ebba Zion, the grey, the light grey going well. Behind them, Tyson as they landed over three out. Orbit of gold taking on Granite Jack. De Valera, Amaretto Rose travelling strongly. Ebba Zion, far side wins now. Calderon, Tyson trying to get there. Amaretto Rose has come there, cantering the favourite as they go down to the second last. Granite Jack, Orbit of gold taken on by Amaretto Rose between the pair as they race now to the final turn and this mare is yet to come off the bridle Ebba Zion going well in behind them though the grey a bit short of run then De Valera and Tyson special envoy from the back with kicks for free and wins now now he gets to work on Amaretto Rose and Granite Jack is battling on very gamely followed by Ebba Zion between the pair they land over the final flight De Soto's back in fourth place then wins now up the hill Granite Jack and Ebba Zion a brace of greys beating 
off Amaretto Rose with De Soto in fourth place and it's Emma Zion that's kicking on the best up the hill. Emma Zion and Davy Condon, a winning start for Ireland. Emma Zion wins from Granite Jack second. Amaretto Rose flattened out up the hill, followed by De Soto and wins now. Then Calderon special envoy, Kexler free Tyson De Valera, Le Berf and then Cedrus Libanai, followed by Orbiter Gold and Tipperary All-Star Hide the Evidence, I'm so lucky. And the tail enders, including Hobbs Hill, Shanghai, Rindoon, She's Our Daisy, classic role, and pulling up was Oh Danny Boy. What a start for the Irish visitors here with Eber Zion. The Gray, a beautifully bred son of De Lamy, bred to be a top-class flat horse. Well, he's proving a top-class horse over hurdles here. Great start for his trainer, Willie Mullins, who has many, many good chances over the course of the next four days. The favourite, Amaretto Rose, looked all over a winner, didn't she, jumping the second last. But jumping the last, it didn't look quite so good as Eber Zion fought through a few tra tra traffic problems to go on and win. The winning rider is now with Les Graham. DJ, that wonderful win, a Cheltenham win for you. Great, couldn't believe it, Sam. Couldn't believe how Willie was going, you know. He went that well fancy coming into the race. We knew he'd win the last day, but he didn't impress us when he won, you know. So coming today with the much confidence, but he done it really good, you know. It's brilliant. You must have been watching Amaretta Rose because she was cruising until just over the last. I was too far back altogether, and I was happy to see as we passed the bend that Mick was just there with me, so I said I can't be going too bad, I'm going to follow him through. It all worked out, it was brilliant, you know, brilliant buzz. It's all about getting up that Cheltenham Hill, and when you hit the ground after the last, your first winner in prospect, what did you think? I thought he was even there a bit too soon, because he doesn't do much in front. But lucky enough now today, he battled, you know, he was really good. Yeah. Well, he did very much enough, well done. Thanks. In 114 well, runnings, first run in 1911, there's only once been a longer price winner than Ebe Zion, a 40 to 1, 14th choice of the punters, and that was Arctic Kinsman, 50 to 1 in 94, River Serio for Nicky Henderson was 40 to 1 in 1986. I don't have to emphasize what a screamer that is for the bookmakers. It looked all up for them when Amaretta Rose hit the front, was only third in the end, the bottle, the 2 to 1 favourite, the runner up, the well supported Grand. And it jacks a 15 to 2 second favourite. But as I said, a 40 to 1 chance generally this morning, only 33 with Hills and Ladbrokes. They knew if Willie Mullins, his second Anglo Irish Bank Supreme novices, one of a tourist attraction. That was in 1995. And I'm looking for the female here. What's happening on the exchanges? She's fled. The exchanges have lost so many of those people who backed the favourite Amaretta Rose and Granite Jack. Ebay Zayn, the second longest winner in 114 runnings of this Supreme.